Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about the different type of fetch techniques we have, uh, eager and lazy. Now it's, it's almost same as human behavior, right? So let's say if you get a task, what you do, you wait for the deadlines, that, 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 that means lazy. But if you are a kind of person who, uh, the moment you get a task, you do it, that is eager. Now to explain this, what I will do is, you know, uh, just uh, we have some code changes here. We got a different class here. So you can see we have alien class. So we all are aliens by default, right? So alien will have an ID, a name, and alien will have multiple laptops. Normally, you know, you work with multiple laptops in one machine, you'll be having one uh, one type of task running. On the other machine, you have some other task, other type of task running. So let's say one lap, one alien will have multiple laptops. And so in alien, we have AID, a name, and laptop collection. And in laptop, we basically have uh, we basically have uh, alien. A sort of different example, right? Uh, which we are doing from uh, from long time. So uh, and then what I will I want to do is I want to fetch. Again, we have done this before. We have talked about one to many relationship, right? So let's try to fetch the value again. Now what I will do is I will simply ask for alien because I already have a database created. So if you can see, I already have a alien database here or not alien database, but test database in which I have alien and laptop. So if I say alien, you can see we got three aliens. We got Naveen, Rahul and Mayank. And if I say laptop, uh, so we have five laptops and alien ID one has three laptops. That's great. Alien ID three has two laptops. And unfortunately, Rahul doesn't have any laptop. <laughs> A poor Rahul, right? Uh, so, uh, so let's go back here and let's try to fetch the value. So what I will do is I will say alien A1 and I want to fetch the data of alien from the database. So what I will do is I will say session dot get. And then you specify, hey, I want data about alien. So you say alien dot class. And then in this, you mention the ID. Uh, let's say the ID is one. That's I'm talking about uh, Naveen here. Okay, so if I simply fetch the value, what do you think? Do you, will you get all the values? And of course, you should get the, you should get all the values, right? Now that means if I fire the query, of course, you will get the SQL there. Let's run this code and let's see what happens. You run this code and you got, you can see we got an SQL and okay, we are, I'm also printing high here. Where? Okay, let, let, I don't want high anymore. Let's run this. And you can see we got, we, it is firing a query. But then it is only fetching the alien ID, alien name. You can see nowhere it is fetching the uh, collection. Can you see that? It is not fetching the list of laptops. So if I try to fetch the list of laptops, so if, I, if I say, let me print the value of A1 uh, and then, or maybe I, I will not print the value of A1 because if I, okay, let, let's let's use only the, uh, the laptop part. Uh, so I will first print A1 dot uh, get A name. Let's fetch that one. And then I will fetch the list of, uh, yeah, I will say collection of laptops. That's what I'm using, right? I'm using collection here. So I will say collection of laptops and I will fetch all the collections here and I will say a1 dot get labs because it will give you the collection of laptop and then I will iterate with with the help of for loop I will say laptop l colon labs and it will print I will try to print one by one laptop I just want to know will it will it fire the query now because you can see laptops and separate table right why it is not fetching it and the moment you try to fetch the value you can see we are filing the query for laptop as well. So when we when we were saying that we want to fetch alien, it was only filing the query for alien, but not for uh, the laptops. It is filing the query for laptops only when you want it. So if I again comment this section, so if I comment this section, it will not file the query for laptops. That means even if you are fetching the value of alien, you are getting only the value of alien, not laptops. Even if alien has multiple laptops, that means it is lazy. But I don't want lazy, I want it to be eager. Because see, what, what is happening is, it is firing the query two times. I mean, at two different intervals. So first you, you're firing the uh, query for alien, the second time you're firing query for laptops. So a user will feel a bit delay here. Now if you want to make it eager, that's your choice again, that's the choice of designing, the way you design your software. But if you want to make it eager, it's very simple actually. In your collection, you can specify, hey, I want to specify the fetch type. So in one to many, you can specify, hey, I want to specify the fetch type and the fetch type I want is, so I will say fetch type dot, there's an option of eager. By default is lazy. If the moment you make it eager, and even if you're not fetching the collection for, I mean, if you, even if you're not fetching the laptops here, and if you run this code, 
uh, you can see it will fire the SQL query. So you can see at least uh, it is firing the SQL query. Now this time it is fetching AID, A name, and also the laptop data. Can you see that in the select query it is, it is firing the uh, it is firing the, the data for laptop as well. But then with, with one difference, it is not firing two different queries. It is firing only one query, and it is using something called as left outer join. Is it? Yeah. So it is using left out, outer join to fetch the value. So remember this, by default, the fetching type is lazy. So when you say lazy, it means it will fetch the value only when you need it. Otherwise, it will not give it to you. It's something like, let's say your boss says, hey, hey, Naveen, I want to, I, I want, uh, I want, uh, I, I want to complete a task. I want, uh, there's an A task you have to complete. Now I will say, okay, that will be done. And I will not complete the task. And let's say one day my boss says, hey, you have two hours now and give me that task. At that point, I will start because I'm thinking maybe my boss will not ask me for to complete the task, right? Why to waste my time? And that's what's happening with Hibernate. Maybe a user don't want laptops, then why to fetch the value? That's what Hibernate is, Hibernate is thinking. So that's why it is lazy. But you can you can make it eager. That's very simple. Just go to lap, I mean, just go to aliens and say fetch equal to fetch type eager, and that's that simple. Yeah. So there are two type of uh, fetching value, fetching techniques. We have eager and lazy, and that's how you do it. By default, it's lazy. You can make it eager, and it will work. I hope you enjoyed this video. You understood about fetch and I um, mean eager and lazy. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.